Hello, Lucid City. I'm Lucy Grimm with Weasel News. We are here with uh -huh. Bartholomew. You yes. can just call me Bart. Bart Barry, as some call him. We are here talking about the updates regarding the taxi strike. Well, after yesterday, once you guys left, things got pretty heated. At one point, we had police protesting with us, but then one of the managers who we thought was with us went rogue and fired everybody. And, oh my god. And, yeah. So Who we was tried that? to and his name is Boris. And and then he went into hiding afterwards because we were trying to get him and talk to him. And then uh, the owner of Taxi Jabo is trying to uh, sue me for defamation. But my lawyer says that we can win the court case. Not only am I gonna be seeking the class action against Jabo, I'm gonna counter sue his defamation case. I'm gonna right. make him broker than my dead second wife. Since the the strike, a few taxi employees who were also fired are working there again, including Octavia Chase and Brandon Sin. They're traitors to the cause. Interesting. So, it looks like who else was fired and has continued to stay fired? Oh, man. Well, everybody else at the protest that I know of is, is doesn't work there anymore, but they might be back and I just don't know it. Now, do you think the reason why you weren't brought back on is because you uh, continued to kind of push the legal case against j -Bo possibly? Yeah, but I wouldn't even go back there if they offered me a million dollars. Got it. Nothing would yeah. give me back to that abuse and unfair treatment of tax. Right. Do you know how much he makes off of uh, each taxi run? Well, eh, I, he doesn't disclose what he makes entirely, but he's a millionaire. Mm -hmm. He's pocketing mm -hmm. all the money we were getting scraps. Got it. So how does the payment system work over there? You guys just make a tick and then... So we make tick pay, and then anytime we drive around citizens, we don't make anything unless they tip. And the right. only person that makes money is j -Bo. Interesting. All right. He 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 not only uh, controls what we were paid. He t he controls what he gets paid. He decides his own salary, and he he's taking the lion's share. Okay. Well, you heard it here first, Lucid City. Uh, this was Barry with his taxi story. Taxi is unfair. Taxi is unfair. I watched you get fired, and then you killed yeah. Boris. I agree hey, with that. Hey, 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 allegedly, 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 allegedly. allegedly Actually, no, I, w I wasn't the one who shot him, so I'm, I'm in Actually, no, that clear. was Smokey Joe that shot him. Yeah, yeah. So that you were just crazy. a witness. So that's just yeah. like secondary murder? Oh, what? no, I, I, I did not kill oh, anybody. No, 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 no. Don't accuse me. Did someone say second degree murder? Hello, Lucid City. I'm here with J. Bo Marino, owner of Taxi. We're here to get his side of the story on what's happening with the taxi strike. Hello, J. Bo. Uh, you want to give us some opening words here and thoughts? Well, what started out being a peaceful protest, trying to get equal rights as a business here, uh, having to deal with strings of robberies from people, uh, literally basically being a 1-800-GET-HOSTAGE service uh, because people just want to use the, the taxi app to call taxis and then they show up hoping to pick up someone that needs a ride, hoping to help someone, and then just getting robbed. It started out, we wanted equal rights as a business that other businesses have, seeing as how we're easily targeted. The tax Tax well, workers were asking for more money, something like that. What happened there? Let me just explain to you this. It was one man trying to speak for everyone, whereas they were all trying to say, you know, we get paid enough. They don't they don't realize like I've put in months here and didn't pull a dime from this company. And then finally, Taxi gets some love like some of these other businesses have. And people are starting to make more money here. If you ask any other VIP drivers, they'll, they'll definitely tell you, no, we, we get paid well. I do a lot for these people. So to bring up those wild accusations from Mr. Bartholomew, that's just crazy. So you're saying he's alone in his accusations? Yeah, yeah, I definitely feel like he's alone in those, you know. And honestly, he was lucky to have this job as long as he had it from the trouble he's caused here. So we'll you... shooting people and causing other gangs to oh. come here and be mad at him and yeah so he was a bit of a troublemaker yeah he can be a he's well he's senile he's an old man 
What do you right. expect? Are you taking any legal action? Uh, no. I mean, I'm just still here trying to run this company. That's all. So we were told in another interview that you were actually going to be taking a defamation lawsuit toward... I mean, if Mr. Bartholomew thinks he can sue me for some reason, then by all means, I can counter sue him for the things that he's done. It I sounds mean, like a disgruntled worker. Um, was there yeah, any personal beef between you and No. Mary? I Like I said, I've, I've given... A, Mr. Bartholomew multiple chances here at Taxi, allowing him to come back a few times because of bullshit he's done. So, uh, so, question about the pay. They get paid per ticket, and then do they get any sort of bonuses for anything? Like, oh, they become yeah. VIP drivers? Like, how does that work? Uh, so, obviously, the goal is to get drivers to become loyal drivers and VIP drivers, you know? Right. Um, they, of course, earn tips from the locals or, you know, even drivers, people they give uh, citizens affairs. We have leaderboards, basically top five people get paid out uh, extra. And I've even been giving away cars for top drivers. Last week, gave away a Honda Civic drift car, which is a okay. exclusive car. This week, they can actually win a Mustang or a drift car. All right. So... And I know those cars are pretty exclusive right now, so they're a hot commodity. I think we've got all we need. Uh, thank you all for supporting tech. I'm Lucy Grimm, signing out. <laughs> all right, we're here with... Brandon Sin, I'm a taxi manager at Downtown Capco. I'm Sammy Fun, and I'm a VIP driver at Taxi. And we came to talk to them about a little bit about the strike last night. Were both of you present for that? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Now, were you guys fired um, last night along with other employees? Yes, we were, but we had uh, consolidated that. Yeah, yeah, everything's worked out now, but... All right, um, I just kind of wanted to know your guys' opinion on what happened and, like, this whole thing with Bartholomew and... Okay, yeah, I want to say something because I was one of the first people that, like, started the, demonstra the demonstration with, like, four or five other people. Uh, it started off as a demonstration against, uh, you know, city policies that certain companies are protected and taxi is not so we were demonstrating against that and uh, the group got bigger during the demonstration and some of the people in the demonstration i'm not going to say any names um they switched the subject of the demonstration to make it against jbo and the payment and all those kind of stuff the demonstration was actually against the new policies in the city and not nothing against taxi so you would that. say the protest was actually hijacked into a strike that is interesting. Yes, pretty much. Um, so you guys are happy with how you guys are treated and you feel like pay is pretty fair here? Yeah, uh, they've actually been increasing the pay uh, substantially, especially for VIP drivers and uh, multiple other other drivers. Have you guys had lots of incidences with Bartholomew? Uh, he's caused the uh, anarchists to show up, uh, quite, a, quite a few other incidents, uh, like shooting taxi drivers. Interesting. So he's a bit of a troublemaker, I see. Oh, for sure, for sure. He's a he's a crazy grandpa. I love you, grandpa, uh, but you're crazy. Yeah, yeah, Bart. Uh, come see me at taxi. All right. You heard it here first, folks. I'm Lucy Grimm <laughs> from Weasel News, and I'm signing off. So Bartholomew is actually here. He's in the trunk of our car. Do you want to go talk <laughs> to him? <laughs> yes. Wow. So he's been here hiding the whole time. Hey, pussy. Oh, God. Have one of these. Well, well, well. Wow. Look at this. Hey, well, well, well. Hey, look who it is. Hey, Nelly got so fucked I'll up, I'll see you in court, J-Bo. You got nothing to do. Oh, so you want to sue me now. I'll Sounds see like you in court. Sounds like a great chance to counter sue. Someone You're who doesn't have any money. buster. There's no union here. You're a union buster. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let it be known, this is Big Smokey Joe. This guy here is a punk. Let it be known. Have one of these. Also, let it be known that this man has shot multiple employees here. Caused multiple yeah. issues here. Yes, and his what? lucky even had the job here in the first place. Guess Bad what, J-Bo? Have one of these. Oh. That's the old guy. He's running. It's an adult. He's running. Oh, okay. He's supposed to be adult. Shouldn't he, shouldn't he have his wheelchair? Yeah, He's yeah, what is that? <laughs> got, All got right. The camera weasel. He's the old man. I'm Lucy Grimm with Weasel News. And he needs this his meds. Taxi story. Oh, he's got. From protest to strike, back to I'm protest, to legal action, 
to now a confrontation between an old man and the employees Maybe. and owner yes, of the hello. taxi. Hopefully this is part. some sort of resolution, but there may be more coming out of the works soon. Smoky Footprints in 2024. 